dollar, dollar, dollar. Dirt and money, no so. Had to go and get it, ain't no time to kick it. Got a stack of flip for my foes. Dollar, 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 dollar. Please tell me you can hear me. Don't turn your back and don't declare me. Just let me know if you need me. Dollar, 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 dollar. Let me watch out for my partners. Keep my money long, get my team strong. Let me run away from my problems. Yo, what's good, original crew, man? We VVV. We got Zoro versus Urza. Whoo, we got another Del Battle. <laughs> now, the second individual I don't know about, but yo, I do know about my boy Roy Noir Zoro. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? The Thor, the three. The, I got chunked up in my words. Sounds twisted. Like no, nah, I was trying to. I, well, I was. Okay, let's just mm -hmm. zip it. Yeah. All right, go. so. Yeah. <laughs> hey, man, with that being said, before we get into it, make sure y'all check out the links in the description box. Down below. You already know where to go, man. You want to first part, all you have to do is check out down below. Also, if you enjoyed today's video, like it with a thumbs up. Like that. Bring it right back. <laughs> I'll be doing stuff to piss you off so bad. You don't piss me off. You said what? I said you don't piss me off. I don't know. I, just, I try to. Uh, sometimes work. on purpose. You said it don't work? Oh, stop the cap. I'm not pissed off. Oh, all right. Whatever. Oh, with that being said, let's go ahead and get into it. Let's check out the death battle. You got a, you got a guess? I don't. Or you want right to wait till? Yes. All right, let's go. Past, present, or future, one kind of fighter has stood the test of time, the swordsman. And today's combatants are two of the most skilled warriors to ever wield a blade. Roronoa Zoro, the feared swordsman of the Straw Hat Pirates. And Urza Scarlet, the battle mage of the Fairy Tale Guild. He's Wiz and I'm Boomstick. And it's our job to analyze their weapons, armor, and skills to find out who would win a death battle. As a child, Roranoa Zoro dreamed of becoming the greatest swordsman in the world. But he didn't just enroll at a dojo, he showed up, challenged everyone, and then just sort of stuck around. Zoro's dojo training sharpened his natural talent with a sword, but there was one person he could never quite manage to beat, his sensei's daughter, Kuina. They dueled a lot, and Kuina won every single matchup, all 2001 of them. Damn, you think you would have gotten at least one in? Despite the constant defeat, Kuina and Zoro were very close friends. Together, they promised that someday one of them would become the world's best swordsman. And then she fell down some stairs and died, which just seems like an unacceptable way for a master swordsman to bite the dust. Does thin out the competition for world's best swordsman, though. True, I mean, that's how I became the world's best shotgun woodcarver. After Kuina's death, Zoro inherited her sword and used it to hone his skills even. All right, full name: Roronor Zoro. Height: five eleven. Good, good size. Good size. Uh, age: twenty one. Birthday: What we got? Know the birthday. All right, but the bounty: we got three hundred and twenty million bellies. That's a lot. That's a lot. He was a former bounty hunter. You know, now he's a member of the Strawhead Crew. Uh, train under, yep. Awful sense of direction. Mm. Racist. <laughs> Speakers. So they say. Hey. So they say. He hate all dark. <laughs> if you color, he can't stay. So they say, huh? So they say. I'm just playing, man. Hey, it's a running pawn. Some of y'all gonna get offended. <laughs> if you feel this. Okay, come on. Uh, but let's get back to it. <laughs> Further, eventually leaving the dojo in search of the current title holder of world's greatest swordsman, Dracul Mihawk. But he immediately got himself lost. With nothing better to do, he became a bounty hunter and wandered around the ocean until he ran into a weird, stretchy pirate kid. You mean Monkey D. Luffy, who brought Zoro onto his crew of Straw Hat Pirates. Actually worked out pretty well since Luffy was already looking to hire him anyway. Turns out Zoro has quite a reputation. At this point, he was already a master swordsman, and after finding and training under Mihawk, his swordsmanship became legendary. He created his own fighting style, Santoryu. 
also called three sword style because he uses three swords, one in each hand and one in his freaking mouth. That doesn't seem very safe. Oh, shut up, Wiz. Badasses don't care about safety. Regardless, with the three sword style, Zoro can perform several unique attacks, including the Onigiri, where he strikes with all three blades at once. Or the Tetsumaki, where he makes a tornado dragon. By swinging his swords a certain way, he can fire compressed air projectiles toward an opponent, like with his deadliest technique, the 1080 pound cannon. And last but not least, he knows the Kutoryu nine sword style. Wait, did he just grow four more arms and two more heads? How the hell did he do that? It's just an illusion, but it still somehow has physical presence. He's like a human slap chop with a total of nine swords. That's one way to put it. In addition to his skills with a blade, Zoro is able to use Haki, a mysterious power that every living being possesses, but only a select few have learned how to use. Haki, much like Neapolitan ice cream, comes in three flavors, and Zoro only has access to chocolate and vanilla. Chocolate? I... what? I, I don't even... well, one of those flavors is observation hockey. That's vanilla! Of course. Which, in some ways, is similar to Spider-Man's Spidey Sense. Zoro can sense the location of other people, even if they're invisible or far away, and can also predict most opponents' attacks. Then chocolate, everyone's favorite hockey flavor, is armament hockey. This lets him form an invisible armor around himself as protection, or harden his swords to make his strikes cut through almost anything. With both hockey, Zoro has been a real asset to the Straw Hat Pirates. They've traveled the world and had a lot of weird adventures. Like that time Zoro fought a literal living mountain man named Pika and sliced him clean in half. A strike so powerful it didn't just cut through Pika, it sent his top half flying upward. Considering Pika's enormous size and approximate mass, this strike had to have been more powerful than the first ever deployed hydrogen bomb, the 11 megaton Castle Romeo. Also, Zoro's pretty damn fast. One time he moved so quickly he seemed invisible to a room full of highly trained assassins. And when the odds are against him, he'll keep pushing himself, even past the point of bleeding out. Thus, he's powered through some incredibly intense pain, such as... <laughs> Holy shit! How the hell is he still standing after that? That's a good question. Zoro is a tough son of a bitch. You know what I'm saying? Like, hey, you gotta call it like you see it for real. Hey, he can withstand some bullshit. You know what I'm saying? Right now... I'm I'm almost through Skypea, for those who don't know. Uh, but Zoro, Zoro, he can withstand some bullshit, though. I, I give it to him. I ain't finna take no shot like After that. After a battle with Kuma, a bear man because this is One Piece, Zoro took on not only his own pain from near death, but also Luffy's, despite being told that doing so would surely kill him. But it just didn't. And he doesn't even brag about it. What a badass. Zoro is definitely the stoic badass type, but he can't do everything. He's a sword fighter above all, and prefers to fight up close and personal. He also has the world's shittiest sense of direction. He gets lost without someone there literally reading the map for him, and could never survive on his own without his friends. You might think Zoro would be more of a lone wolf type of guy, but no. Much like how Kuina's death spurred him on to become a great swordsman, it's his friends who keep him fighting. I set sail for only one reason, to meet you. And what is your goal? To beat you. Urza Scarlet grew up in a small rural town called Rosemary Village. It was pretty picturesque as far as childhoods go. Hold on, Wiz, I'm getting a premonition. Despite everything seeming perfect, something... Something terrible happens. A murderous cult attacked, destroyed the city, and enslaved the children to build a tower to resurrect their evil overlord. There it is. Young Urza was tortured, and while she may have lost an eye in the process, she also gained a friend, Jalal Fernandez. He actually gave Urza her last name, Scarlet, after her red hair. She and her buddies swore they'd escape, so Urza ended up staging a revolt and saved the other slaves thanks to discovering her latent magical powers. Unfortunately, not everyone made it out. Turns out Jalal got possessed by some spirit that made him a huge dick, and she had to go without him. Fine, if you want to leave so badly, then I'm not going to stop you. 
but you'll have to go alone. After that nightmare, Urza swore to dedicate her life to helping and protecting the innocent. Alright, that Urza, she's 19. Girl 21. Yeah. First year. The fuck? <laughs> <laughs> she can't be 19. She that damn old. S class major of the fairy tale seven. She's a master of fairy tale has an artificial eye. Damn, so she blind out of one. Strawberry cake. She blind. Think she blind, about it. Yeah. So she blind out of one. Eye. If I attack you from that eye, you can't see me. Bitch, you can't see me. But she probably didn't learn. So like, to if just I still if I approach you on this side, that's just physicality. But I my cannot, other senses I cannot, have height. I cannot see. I cannot see. I, I feel you. Come on. You gotta get in that periphery. You gotta get to that that about right there, and I can see you. If you can pop out, I'm just like, bitch, where you come from? <laughs> uh, also, now is it's that Ty T T T I don't know. Y'all with these it, names. Ty, Ty, uh, favorite Ty, Ty, fruit: Ty, Ty, strawberry case Ty, Ty. and what's that? Souffle. Souffle. And so joined the Fairy Tale Magicians Guild. Luckily for them, she possessed a great skill set for a mage. Her main thing is requip magic, which is basically like having an armory with you at all times without having to lug it around. Requip magic allows Urza to summon her vast array of weapons and armor at will, meaning she can use multiple combinations of swords, lances, and outfits all in one fight without ever really slowing down. Okay. Damn, that'd be useful for all my weapons. How many is she packing? She's rumored to have access to as many as 100 sets of armor and 200 weapons. Okay. Nice! As far as armor goes, her go-to is the standard Heart Cruise set. But there's also the Heaven's Wheel armor, where she can send swords flying at people, the spiky defensive adamantine armor, and the Blackwing and Flame Empress armors, which have wings for... flying! Don't forget her giant armor, which she uses with a lance, purgatory armor, which has a lot of spikes, and, uh, seduction armor? Okay. I'm not really sure what purpose this serves. Probably to make enemies <laughs> terribly aroused. Ever tried sure. to fight with an erection whiz? <laughs> Believe me, it's not easy. Right. Well, Urza right. claims her most powerful armor is the Armadura Fairy Armor, which is very... pink. These are fancy and all, but sometimes she doesn't even bother suiting up. If her back's against the wall, Urza equips her clear heart clothing. This enhances her speed and attack over defense, and channels all her magical energy into her katanas for a decisive blow. She can charge magic through her swords to perform all sorts of magical attacks, even mixing and matching weapons and armors to better her chances in a fight. She's also just really good at sword fighting. Actually, she's really good with a lot of weapons, including hand to hand. All of this makes Urza an excellent addition to the Fairy Tale Guild. Mm. She quickly became one of its highest ranking mages and was the youngest member to ever pass the S Class Mage Promotion Test. Mm. An incredibly difficult gauntlet only the strongest and wisest of warriors can even attempt. Speaking of achievements, she's pretty friggin' strong. Don't believe me? Well, here she is, lancing a hole through a giant floating cube. This cube was about 100 million cubic miles in volume. To punch through it, Urza's lance must have dealt about 16 kilotons of force. Urza's also fast enough to deflect bullets point blank from a flintlock pistol. Guns with a muzzle velocity of about 540 miles per hour. And that's without a speed boost from her armor. Right, many of her armor sets grant her stat boosts, increasing her speed, magic, defense, etc. She survived plenty of destructive blasts, including one that blew up an island. Considering that island's size, that's an explosion equivalent to two kilotons of TNT. So she's sexy, can survive island-busting attacks, and has a shit ton of weapons? She's basically perfect. Just wish she used a gun or two. Well, she may have a vast armory, but swapping them in and out requires magic, and she can run her supply down if she's not careful. So it's just like a mana bar in those fantasy games you always play. Exactly, um, though even when she's out of magic, she's still quite deadly in hand-to-hand. -hand. Okay. Like when she fought her alternate self from another parallel universe. That universe has a lot less clothing. Sign me up! But when you're among the best in the guild, you get the job done no matter the limits. I will withstand any physical pain to protect the ones that I love! Alright, the combatant...
a bad God, bitch, bro. She is, and I have no clue who I want to uh, go with. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to let you choose this one this time. Because I'm nah, going to nah, choose. Nah, yeah, yeah. Nah, I always let you choose. Mm -mm. Uh, well, let's switch it up. We, we both could choose. Oh, what about let's let you choose? No, we both could choose. Since I always choose myself. Uh, who you going with? Fuck. I guess you can just go with who you know, cause you got your sin. No, 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 no. She a bad bitch. She uh, is. Uh, but I'm also thinking about that, like one little key component. Even though she's good with her hands, she does like with the magic. She like runs her energy low. Like the, you know what I'm saying? I'm trying to, I'm, I'm trying to think about that. But I'm like, does it really matter? In a sense. That's the point. Like I, I know it, it does, depending on like how long you probably fighting for, but Facts. <sighs> but that's the that's the main point though. So And who, then I'm thinking she has all this armor, but I'm like, it's like is it gonna be like used in the fight? Well well <sighs> don't know. Let's just sit this one out. No, nah. <laughs> I want to go with Zoro. I want to go with Zoro too, only because I just I know. I've, how, I've seen him like take the most and can still get the fuck up. But then I'm but like, something I don't head, know like, much about go, her. Go, 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 go. I haven't seen her, but just a little bit that I just learned, I'm like, dang, she a badass. But um. So tell me, go with Urza though. I'm gonna go with Urza. Okay. Who you going with? I'm not. I'm. I'm sending this one out. You normally do. Bar set. Let's end this debate <laughs> once and for all. It's time for a death battle! <laughs> oh. oh, sorry, lady. Could you point me in the way of the shipyard? I've been looking around for hours. Mm -mm. <laughs> uh -huh. <laughs> You're the one I'm looking for. Come peacefully and you won't be harmed. Sorry, I'm busy. Maybe later. Then we'll have to do this the hard way. I told you I'm busy! Fuck! Well, I guess we're doing this now. Whoa! What? You're coming with me! Neat trick. Cut through like oh. Yeah. <sighs> Are you like second guessing? Uh, uh you know something? I don't know. Let's keep rolling. Let's, Let's just keep, keep rolling. rolling. You are strong, pirate. But this is world great. Nothing is worse than the loss of life. Ugh. Don't start crying, woman. <laughs> what? So much for all that true strength bullshit, huh? Tied up, Zoro. Tied up. No, I can do this. I will play this bounty for my kill, for my strength, for my friends. I bring it on. The only one who fights for their friends. Okay. Oh, oh where the hell is that shipyard? 
My gut said go with Zoro. <laughs> My gut said go with Zoro. Bro. Oh my gosh. Damn, why my Oh my gosh. My gut said go with Zoro. You see him fight. I said that. I said oh. go with him. I said because you know his strength. You know what he can do. You know what I'm saying? I didn't pick him. Even when even when he was down, he did not have a bandana on. He ain't going out and not putting a bandana I'm like, on. I'm like, just go with him because you already know what he can do. You don't even though they made her sound like I'm pretty sure she's super badass, like watching wherever. And I'm like, he he can cut through that arm. You know what I'm saying? That's why all that was mentioned to let you know. Yeah, she she comes with all this, but come on now. Damn, see? And I'd rather have just went with somebody. I'd rather you had just with well, us, went with somebody that <laughs> I didn't pick, but went with somebody we know because we know yeah, what he brings yeah, and what he can do. Yeah. It only makes sense to go with him. Ain't nobody whoop for him. Like, it, you know, what's whatever. Oh, Jesus! Talk about a killing blow! He killed In the bad. past, Urza could react to projectiles flying over 500 miles per hour, but Zoro could move faster than the eye could see. U.S. Air Force tests have shown that a well-trained human eye can consistently spot and recognize an image in 1 220th of a second. So, in this case, Zoro would have had to move from point A to point B, which is about 57 feet, in 4.5 milliseconds. That's close to 9,000 miles per hour. That's more than five times faster than a bullet. Urza didn't really rely on speed anyway, and there's no evidence any of her armor magic could have helped close that wide of a gap. Speaking of her armor, Urza did have more options in defense and weaponry. Unfortunately for her, she was simply outclassed and damage dealt. Urza could withstand hits of about two kilotons, like the blast which destroyed that island, but Zoro has dished out much stronger blows than that. Slicing Pika in half, for example, was equivalent to 11.5 megatons. That's about 6,000 times bigger than anything Urza has survived. And while Urza's artificial eye may have seen through Zoro's Nine Sword style illusion, it couldn't prevent him from actually attacking her. She also had that habit of stripping down to clear heart clothing in a bind. Yeah, it gave her more sword power, but at the cost of less defense. This sounded like a good idea on paper, but close range combat was Zoro's bread and butter. Urza was mostly self taught, and while proficient with a blade, Zoro has trained with swords all his life. Even with the greatest swordsman in the world. An up close duel was exactly what he was looking for. Hey. And she won't be getting a fairy tale ending. The winner is Roranoa Zoro. Of course it is. But also, like he said, he was looking for an up close attack because as long as she stayed away from him, she would have won. But the ego made her drove her in to want to attack him close. Damn, why didn't I? It... It's my fault. You know. That's my fault. It's okay. Some in my gut said go with Zoro. Go with Zoro. And I was like, okay, well, that's who we're going with, that's who we're going with, but Damn. See. But I just I you know See, look at me to, after the fact. I was supposed you know? to get that one. I was supposed to get that one. It's you were supposed good. to get that one. It's all good. It's all good. It's all good. I've been getting the last few. It's all good. It's all good. It's all good. Now you pick Homelander over uh Omni Man. I got that one wrong. You got that one wrong. Which one did we just do? We did... I got uh, that one right. Goku versus... Damn, help me out. Help me out. Um, oh, Lord. Uh, she, she, she don't be helping your brother out. <sighs> reverse Flash. I got that one right. Could we pick what? Reverse Flash? Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. I picked it. Nah, I remember I said reverse fire. So. No, 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 no. Y'all spam us up in the comments, <laughs> man. Y'all let us know y'all thoughts and opinions, man, down below. But as Please always, do. I had to go by the name DJ the Kid. This is we are. We are.